So I'm going to speak briefly about the need for having a Ray Formula tab that contains the same data that you'll see here on the form response sheet. The reasoning behind that is in a form response sheet, its purpose is to gather uh, the entries that a user will put into the online form and then display that data here in a new row each and every time somebody enters some information. One of the things that you cannot do with a form response sheet is add a formula to it um, because the new line that enters each and every time someone submits information does not pick up the formula that might be above it. But when you choose to use the array formula, you're copying over the data that happens to be within that range on that tab. It is displaying it just like it would as in a mirror or maybe even a pond of water as a reflection. And because it's a reflection, uh, you can, if you need to, create a formula and then copy the formula down. So each and every time somebody enters new data into the sheet, that formula, because it's placed on that line, will now have the ability to do that calculation. And it's very handy because the further you actually copy the formula down, the less you have to go in and actually interact with the sheet itself because it's set up to extend beyond um, a certain range. And that's the reason why we don't put a number at the very end of where you have J. So if I were to type in A1 through J5, that's limiting the number of rows that will be available for me to work with. But if I just put J, that tells the sheet that this extends all the way down to the very bottom of the actual um, sheet itself. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a brand new tab, a blank one, and I'm going to type in the formula so we can see how it populates when we type it in brand new. So in A1, I'm going to type in equal and array formula. It's handy that it actually pops it up trying to help me. I'm going to do parentheses. And because the actual tab I'm bringing it from has spaces in it, I will need to put a single quote and then type in the name of the tab exactly as it is. You can't have any mistakes, such as if it, the uh, name of the tab is all in caps, you have to type it in all in caps here. If the name of the tab has a spelling mistake and you don't correct it, you need to type it in exactly as it is for it to show up. I'm going to have it start at A1, colon, and then end at J, parentheses. Press Enter, and I see that I have an error. So I wonder what the error happens to be. What did I do wrong? Ah, what I did wrong is that I didn't put in the explanation point. This needs to go in between the single quote or the last name of the actual tab or last letter, excuse me, and the beginning of the range that I want to be able to copy. Please note that if there is an error, the area in between the parentheses will remain gray, but if it's correct, it's gonna to change to a color. So now when I press enter, the information or data that is in that tab within that range is now copied over. Because this is a reflection, if I were to go in and type on top of it, you'll notice how it will now break. Just like if you throw something at a mirror, just like it's if you throw a rock into a pond, it will cause disruptions. So what we wanna do is to make sure that we don't type anything into this, if we do need to make changes to the data itself, that needs to be done inside of the form response sheet. I'm going to go down to the very bottom here and actually name this Array Formula 2. 